Hi there, Kennedy. Uh, right, let's go take a look. I think you're looking great so far. We got a, several comments, of course. Let's go take a look. Okay, so the first composition asks for um, simply the, the, the first design wants no contrast in size or weight and all hierarchy should be based on grouping. But right now we don't have any grouping here. Everything is the same size and weight. That's great, right? But it's all one group. So what you could really do here to, to create a hierarchy via grouping is just increase the space between 65 um, the car and the, these descriptions. So just see the space right there. Just move that, open that up a little bit. Take this first line and move it down to about here. That way you're creating hierarchy based on grouping with this title um, being first position in hierarchy and the rest sharing second position in hierarchy. Okay, in this second composition, we want one new size and one new weight. And that's great. Here's your new size and your new weight as doubling as, as an, uh, the, the 65 Corvette Stingray doubling as new size and new weight as it's bigger and bolder than the rest of the text. Good job. A little concerned about alignment here. You're mixing, and in a lot of your compositions, you're mixing alignment. You've got left alignment mixed with right alignment. I do not recommend doing that. Um, you want to keep harmony. Now, there's going to be a time and a place when this will be called for, but right now, this is not it. And I think the reason is what you're, what's happening here is it's creating a kind of an uncomfortable visual tension based on the randomness associated with the left alignment here and the right alignment here. My recommendation here is to keep this all left aligned, okay? Get that 65 Corvette Stingray aligned right here, um, and then get this left aligned and place it right down here, okay? And keep everything in that alignment right there. Um, and that that'll that you'll have grouping and new and contrast based on uh, uh, scale and weight. So that would be perfect, right? Watch your alignment in, in number two. Number three, again, we've got alignment issues. Here's left align, here's right align, all right? Um, if you want to keep this over here, that's great, but just left align it just to in increase that harmony therein. Now, this composition is asking for multiple um, contrasts in weight and scale. And right now, I'm not really seeing that. It's really difficult to tell if this type is smaller than this type. So I, I'm, I'm basically, all I'm seeing is um, um, increased scale and weight based on the bold and the size of the, the headline. And if you've got this italic, that's great. But but again, it's, it's, it's out of alignment. It's not really aligned with anything. My recommendation here would be to um, keep that, again, left aligned. Watch just watch your alignment. Remember, in design, everything sh in, in a composition, everything should align with something. Okay, and that will in, that will decrease the chance of any kind of random placement. And again, that is what the grid is for as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But here you want it very obvious to have multiple weight and multiple scale changes. Okay. Now the fourth one's problematic because for two reasons. Number one, uh, the we're not really seeing multiple uh, scale changes and weight changes. We want multiple scale and weight changes, okay? I'm going to give you an example here. I think it's going to really help it a lot, a lot. But the car is set in red. The car needs to be black and white, and it needs to bleed in two areas. So if you come over to the assignment, you'll see right here, black, white, and, and uh, black and white, shades of gray only. So that car needs to be black and white. And then the car has to bleed in two areas. Where is it? Uh, right here. Crop, crop portion, violate the grid in some way, and bleed off the page in at least two places. Okay, you want to get that bleeding in two places. So watch those recommendations. Watch your alignments, though. Be, try to be consistent with your alignments. Again, here we have right alignment mixed with left alignment. This, this subhead here seems to be randomly placed as it's not really aligned with anything. Okay, now, examples, right? In the book. Have you been keeping up with this book? I love this book. It's one of my favorite typography books ever. This is a this is the the, the list of authors here. I mean, this is just a, a power packed like all star team of authors here. So <laughs> this is a great book. Now take a look at page one hundred and one. You'll see great examples of exactly how to assemble this this assignment. Um, really, really good examples involving um, uh, hierarchy based on emphasis and that emphasis typically is changes in weight and scale okay and definitely want to watch for alignment examples in here as well all right now um, i think it's a good start i think you're understanding grid i think you're understanding for the most part you're 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 
understanding of hierarchy is evolving, but I think that you've got the idea here. We just need to fine tune some things. Okay. Now, again, I really want you to take a look at page 101 and, and really study those before you assemble your final um, compositions for, for Sunday's submission. All right. Uh, excellent, Kennedy. Thank you very much. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you.